funny man. I'm glad you asked that question. I'm Circus Man. Excuse me. All right, somebody come and get that cat away. I guess I showed him who's boss around here, huh? <laughs> I suppose you're wondering just how I got into this taming business. <laughs> I've had sawdust in my veins ever since I can remember. <laughs> my doctor wishes I had a little blood. <laughs> we show folks like to throw in those little cuties once in a while. That's a joke. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I come from a long line of circus men. My, uh, my uncle's stuntman was an old circus performer. He performed in an old circus. It was run by the Ring-a-Ding brothers. Now, would you like to know how my Uncle Stunt really got his first job? Well, it seems uh, that the regular daredevil, Fearless Ferdy was his name, who was the most courageous man in the whole world, didn't show up one day for work. His wife wouldn't let him out of the house. The crowd was gathering and no Fearless Ferdy. Stuntman begged Ring-a-Ding to give him a chance and Ring-a-Ding said, okay. Bravely, my Uncle climbed to the top of the platform. Well, he wasn't afraid. He, he only hooked his suspender to create suspense. He did wonderful stunts, like riding a bike uphill and backwards. Now, you've heard of somersaults? Stuntman did bicycle stars. To this day, they call that elephant Alabama because his tusks are looser. My uncle jumped into a chariot. He ran into an old friend named Balancing Benny, and he took him along for the ride. Now, Balancing Benny used to be a teller in a bank, but he couldn't even balance the book. It was just like the one used in Ben Hur. I saw that picture. Hated Ben, loved her. Stuntman and Benny thought they'd crashed the Lions Convention. chased him into a house. So they got real busy housekeeping. Keeping the lion out of the house. They boarded up the windows and they boarded up the doors. It was a boarding house. Mr. Ringading had a daughter named Inga. Inga, Ringading, Ding, Now she was also a circus performer. She was a bareback rider. She used to ride on the back of a bear. Inga got angry and she raised the roof, and the rest of the house went with it. Oh, well, stuntman would have telephoned for help, but the lion was busy. about his perch. He wasn't quite sure he was traveling in the right circle. The lion thought 
they'd be a real good meal. But they didn't want to give him food for thought. You know, many years later, my uncle wrote a book about this experience. He called it Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. The lion tried to get his claws into Stuntman, but Stuntman wouldn't let him because there was no claws in his contract. Stuntman decided to cut the rope. Now, what happened next was, <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny, it brought the house down. <laughs> This was their shining hour. Everyone had a shiner. And that was my uncle Stuntman, who taught me a sensational trick that I'm going to perform for you right now. Now, uh, oh, uh, assistant? Assistant, would you come in here and stand right on the edge of that board? Right there, this way. That's it, good. Now, just stand up there. Now, ah. I'm going to jump on the end of this board, see? And that will cause my assistant to catapult up in the air and do a triple somersault. And meanwhile, I'm going to run over, grab this chair, and run behind him and catch him on this chair before he lands. Hey, all right, now, just stand right there. Oh, wait till you see what a sensational trick this is. <laughs> all right, steady now. Watch for the next funny man. Which one will it be? Thank you.